Welcome to my home workout. This is a bit of a weird video for me to make, but uh, yeah, I figured I'd share what my home workouts are with you guys. Uh, I recorded this video a very long time ago, and I decided to do it now, because since a lot of people are spending a lot of time at home because of current world events, uh, I figure workout is a very good thing to be doing. <laughs> it's better than doing nothing. So. Yeah, you guys can follow along. First, we're starting off, of course, with a warm-up. So we want to get all our joints moving. I always start with the uh, wrist movements, which you just saw. Uh, neck movements, roll your head from one shoulder to the other shoulder. Swing your arms back and forth. And gigantic arm circles backwards and forwards, of course. You can try and go one forward, one backwards as well, if you wish. Elbow rotations, more wrist, and then twisting side to side. Make sure to move your back ankle, don't keep your feet in one place. It limits your movement. Chest rotations, these ones are just for fun. I have met very few people who can do it. Hip rotations, move your hips in a big gigantic circle around, like Spongebob's bring it around town with the bubbles. Uh, ankle rotations, of course, very important for keeping your ankles loose. My right ankle doesn't go that direction very well. <laughs> now we're turning our feet to the inside. So the bottoms of our feet go to the inside. We're walking backward, or well, walking side to side on the outsides of our ankles. You can walk around if you want, not just go side to side. Make sure to twist your ankles the other way as well and walk on the inside, but don't bend your knees inwards. Keep your legs nice and straight. If your ankles can't bend very far, that's fine. They go as far as they can. Then we're up on our heels, lifting our knee up with each step. This is pirate walk. Oh, I forgot. The, 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 the first one of these walks is penguin walk, the other is zombie walk, and this is pirate walk. Then of course we're on our tippy toes, and this is ballerina walk. You can also do a beautiful spin for fun and silliness. I don't do that when I'm doing my home workout because no one is watching, <laughs> except for this video, because obviously I recorded it. All right, to grab one ankle, pull it behind you, touch your foot to your butt and stretch your uh, quad, the front of your leg. Repeat on both sides. By the way, we want uh, dynamic stretches for a warm-up. So static stretches is you hold it, a dynamic stretch is you move it around. So you pull it into the stretch, release a bit, pull it into the stretch, and release, and repeat a few times. I usually do about five per side. Hip circles. You can do this with your leg bent or with your leg straight either or, whichever you wish to do. Just make sure that you're getting really good range of motion. Knee rotations, or as a lot of people call it, the best dance move in the world. Sorry, coolest dance move in the world. Feet to the side and stretch over, stretching the obliques, of course. And then we're going to put our hands behind our back and dip from side to side. I don't know what this is called, but you go from side to side, keep your back nice and straight, get good range of motion with your back. I like to also dip my knees inwards. 
can stretch backwards as well to just stretch a little bit of your core. You can also just go on the ground and push your chest up into the air and then release and push up and release and so on and so forth because it's dynamic stretching. As this is an HIIT workout, we're going to do one exercise as quick as we possibly can with good form, starting with jumping jacks. We're going to do this for 20 seconds and then we rest for five, 10 seconds. And then we're lifting our knees to the side. This is our second exercise, or not, not necessarily to the side, but uh, knee, knee up to your chest. Again, you do it a bit quick. You can bring your elbow down to the inside of your knee as well. And rest for 10 seconds. Hopping on one leg. For the next 20 seconds, we're going to do this only on one leg, and we're going to try and make use of our toes, our tippy toes, the balls of our feet pushing off of the ground. And then we're switching to the other leg, of course. 20 seconds on, then 10 seconds rest, just like last time. Ten seconds rest, and if you have a pull-up bar, we're going to do we're gonna hang. And we're just going to bring our knees up and to the side. Switching sides each time, of course. Now we're just going to punch, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're not doing real boxing here, so I may look silly, I have no clue. <laughs> it's funny watching myself, but the point is just to get some movement in there. Make sure you're using your entire body, your legs as well. And then this one, this exercise is just you stand with your feet together and you just twist your hips back and forth. That's it. <laughs> Looks kind of silly, but it, it, it's almost like you're doing the hula hoop. <laughs> Rest for 10 seconds. All right, on the floor, we are doing quick snaps. Your chest is meeting your knees very, very quickly, as fast as you can, as quick as you can. You want explosive power for this. This is better than crunches. Crunches do nothing but hurt your back. All right, next exercise is plank for 20 seconds. To make it more intensive, oh my god, I look ridiculous here. Uh, you, you can push your shoulders down and up so that you're doing more than just sitting there. <laughs> it looks really a bit weird from that angle though.
then just running in place. Now we're going to do actual pull-ups, as many as you can for 20 seconds. You'll see I probably can only do like 5 here, and then I lose it, and so I hang and just start uh, pulling up my shoulders instead of trying to pull up all the way. Engaging your shoulders by doing a shoulder shrug like this still gets your the, the same muscles working, so it still counts. Okay, on the floor we're doing push-ups. Clapping push-ups for explosive power. If you can't do clapping push-up like this, try it on your knees or just don't worry about it at all and just do a regular push-up. You can also, as I'm doing here, just push and jump up. You don't have to actually clap. You just kind of want the explosive power. All right, bringing our el uh, starting from a push-up position, bring your elbows down, switching sides. Left elbow down, then right elbow down, then up, and then you switch sides. <laughs> if you're really good, you can do both elbows at the same time and then lift back up. Now we're going to hold a back bridge sort of thing, but just up on our shoulders. And at the same time, we're going to be doing a leg lift. You can have your hands in the air like this so that your body and your core has to do more of the work and no elbows or shoulders helping to hold you up. Now we switch sides, we do the other leg. All right, this one is just a bunch of front snap kicks. As quick as you can, make sure to bring your knee up first and then snap your foot out. Don't just lift your entire leg. Again, you look a little silly, but it gets the body moving. Now we're going to switch sides, do the other leg, this is my good leg. You can say I'm already starting to get tired. All right, this one, we are holding ourselves up on one leg and one arm, not the knee, one foot, I should say, and one hand, and holding the others in the air, trying not to roll over a bunch. We're trying to keep our body stable in one position, get that core working to stabilize. Make sure you are using the opposite hand and foot to balance on. and then we repeat on the other side.
All right, just a simple squat. Make sure to keep your back straight. Bring your butt behind you. Don't try and bend at your knees. Bring your butt backwards. <laughs> Again, this movement looks very, very silly, especially the coming back part. Maybe the arms don't really help. <laughs> Alright, just hopping from one leg to the other. That's all we need to do. Try to keep your legs straight to ish. And you're just kind of like, I don't know, skating past. It's like you're kicking one foot out of the way to land on the next one. Flutter kicks, sitting on the ground. You can place your hands down, but try not to use your hands to actually hold. They're, they're there just for stability. Then legs straight, toes pointed, fluttering your kicks. Alright, this one is just uh, holding yourself up on just your hands. You could do this with your legs straight out, you could do, the, you, do this with your legs bent. I chose to do it this way because I was way too tired to hold myself with my legs in front of me uh, weighing me down. <laughs> All right, now we're back in a push-up position and we're just trying to run along the floor. You can't really see that that's what I'm doing here, but yeah, I'm just running along the floor. So I'm bringing my knees up to my chest and kicking them back again. You're, you're, you're literally just running. It's like I'm trying to push the floor away, fast. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm putting my elbows into my knees and I'm just rocking back and forth into that uh, frog stance and back to toes, I guess. I can uh, apparently I couldn't think of anything better to do. <laughs> All right, laying on your side, lifting one leg up. Side leg lifts, I think this is called. These ones are very hard for me for some reason, because I can only do like 10 of them before I start getting tired, or less. Switching sides, obviously. Your body should be in a straight line. Mine, for some reason, is bent. I'm like a banana. Alright, back into another plank position, and lifting legs up in the air. Back leg lifts. These ones are really good for the glutes in the uh, lower back. All right, this next exercise is just, again, holding myself up on my hands, but I'm trying to um, do this in front instead of the way I did it before. <laughs> good for the shoulders, this way. Leaning forward is good for your shoulders, with your legs in front is good for the uh, core.
All right, and then just a tuck jump. You can make this better, more intense if you do this quicker and you jump as soon as you land, but I was way too tired for that. So I'm just doing tuck jumps and that's it. All right, workout done. Now it's time to rest for a little bit. And then stretching, of course. Stretching is important. Make sure after a workout like this that you stretch every part of your body. So stretch the uh, insides, outsides, front and back of your legs. Stretch the arms on the outside and the inside. Stretch your wrists, stretch your neck, stretch your abs, stretch your back, stretch your ankles and your calves and your sides, your obliques, your shoulders. Make sure to stretch all parts of your body. Hold each stretch for 20 seconds and you're good. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. And I hope you enjoyed some of the silliness and me looking very weird because this is a very awkward video for me to decide to put up, but um, yeah, so enjoy! <laughs>